Hey what's up guys welcome back to another Sims 4 video on my channel so today's video is a tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to build a simple base game greenhouse so there are no packs required all you need is base game so the greenhouse that we're building today will be a bit more modern because I want to show you guys the basics but just to give you some inspiration you can also use the items in base game to build some more rustic greenhouses which I think base game is more suitable for so if you guys want to download any of these greenhouses I'm going to upload them to the gallery I'll also try uploading them as parts, so as rooms, so you can attach them to your pre-existing houses. I don't think you can upload roofs to the gallery though, so you will have to add them yourself, but it shouldn't be too difficult. And after watching this video, you will be able to build your own greenhouses anyway. So I like to start with a 5x3 platform, but you can make your greenhouses as big as you want, of course. But I feel like this is a nice and more realistic size for a greenhouse. So let's select base game to show you guys that I'm using only objects from base game here. So first you guys want to grab the room tool or the wall tool and build a 4x3 room here. Also you don't really need the platform here, you can delete it if you don't like it, but I want to have it here because in my opinion it makes the build look a bit nicer. So if you guys go up to the next floor to add the roof, you will see that there is a ceiling here. You can delete it, but you don't have to delete it. It doesn't interfere with the build in any way. And you will be able to see inside after adding the glass roof, which you will see in a second. But first you want to add a gabled roof like this. So after your roof is in position, you want to get rid of the eaves, which is what I like to do because I feel like greenhouses don't really have eaves. But of course you can keep them if you want to. But for now we're gonna get rid of them, simply grab the small arrows here and drag until the eaves are gone. So in my opinion the roof is also a bit too steep, so let's modify it a bit more. So after a greenhouse looks something like this, it's time to pick a base color for the walls. And you can really use anything you like here. I feel like wood or brick are probably best for most greenhouses. So as I said before, we're building a more modern, more simplistic greenhouse. So I decided to go with the white grayish brick here. So all we've built until now is basically a small shed and now it's time to add the glass. We have six different glass types for the roof in base game, which you can see here. There are different variations to this with the honeycomb, with the clear one, but we have also some more intricate patterns. And this is really up to personal taste, so pick what you like. And for this build, we're going to use the second one, which is a more neutral uh, glass roof in my opinion. There are also different swatches for the glass roof so we're gonna pick the more uh, white one here. So the next step here is optional. You can use a roof trim if you want to to add some additional details or colors whatever you want. I'm going with a white roof trim here. So the next step would be adding our windows and you can really get creative here. There are a lot of good windows in base game but I recommend using those that are a bit taller because you, as this is a greenhouse you want to cover up as much wall area with glass as possible. You can also use the medium or tall windows but I don't really recommend it because if you use the medium sized walls or even the tall walls I feel like the greenhouse looks a bit odd because it's almost a tower. It might work out for bigger greenhouses but if you plan on building a small one like this here the short windows are probably the best option here. So here are some windows that you can use. This big one here is quite nice to use. Uh, there are variations for this window as well. Personally I like using the slimmer variation of this window here but you can get really creative and use whatever windows you like. For example this one here which I think looks nice for more uh, rustic greenhouses if you put them like this. But we're not going to use them for this build because as I said before I want to build a more neutral more modern greenhouse and therefore we're using these windows here which are probably my favorite type of window for a more modern more neutral build because they have this very simplistic design and you can use them in any build because they're only one tile wide which is very useful so for your greenhouse you want to add those windows all around here you can of course also add a back door here or something like that if you want to i'm going to show you which doors um, work for greenhouses in a second so after you're done adding windows all around the greenhouse it's time to pick a door and there are different options what you can do here uh the first one would be to use a single tile door like the glass door that we have in base game i have to admit there are not that many great options for uh, greenhouse doors in base game but this one here is one of the best 
So what I don't like here is that the windows are taller than the door, but you can add a light here or some decorations or keep it like this if you like it. But personally, I like to use uh, this space here for a light, which I think is also a realistic spot to place the light. And as you can see, there are some nice options here for wall mounted lights in base game. Some are a bit more rustic, some are a bit more modern. I like using this one here because I feel like it fits almost every greenhouse. So if you guys want to use a double door, there are also some options in base game here. For example, this one, which is as tall as the windows, which I like because it looks a bit cleaner. So we're going to use this one here for the tutorial. So before I give you guys some inspiration for the interior, I want to show you some objects in base game that you can use to decorate your greenhouse inside and outside and also make it functional by adding some uh, planter boxes. So this list is not final. Those are just some objects I think are very nice. So let's quickly go through this. You can, for example, use these weeds here to create some fake herbs. These are just for looks, of course. I also like using these planks here to create borders or frame a path, but you can also use these stone slabs here to create a path. So just be aware that these stone slabs here as well as some other objects are from debug. So the most important objects for greenhouse are probably the planter pots here. In base game we have a big one, this one here, and three small round ones. And it was really disappointing that we didn't get any new plant up pots with the greenhouse haven kit because I was expecting that. If you want to check out my video on the new kit, uh, I'm going to link it somewhere on the screen. So these two objects here are planters from debug as well. I always uh, thought this one here was some kind of strange chimney, but it's actually called planter. Then of course we have a two wheelbarrows here, which are also from debug. And we also get a lot of small clutter here uh, in base game that can be used for um, building greenhouses, as you can see. So the most important part are probably the plants. As you can see, we have a lot of small potted plants here, uh, which you can use to build a greenhouse, for example, to create some fake herbs or simply use them as they are. Also used a lot of these objects to build my base game herb spiral. Link is in the description below. So I would say these objects are the essentials, but you can use whatever you want, of course. I like to use books and pretend they're about gardening. You can also use the woodworking table, which you can see in the back here. Here, uh, from base game. I think it fits the greenhouse aesthetic and it's also usable for woodwork. But of course you can also just put some plants on top of it and use it as a decorational object. I also wanted to give you a nice selection of tables here. Uh, some of them are usable, some of them are not. We also have some chairs here in the bench. Not all of them are usable. I think this chair here isn't. And we have, of course, my favorite chair, which is this really crooked looking one here. I also wanted to give you guys some ideas for wall decoration. So we have, of course, the coat hooks here, some aprons, which I think also fit the uh, aesthetic. And of course, the hose here, which is probably going to be a staple decoration for most greenhouses. There are also some nice sculptures in base game you can use to give your greenhouse a bit more character and also different types of plants. For example, the bonsai here you see in the back. There are also some nice fences and stone walls in the game, which you can use for the area around your greenhouse. And of course, you want to add some lights. I simply uh, place these here because I use them for my greenhouses. And then we also have the pergola here, which I think is a bit too big to use. So I would size it down a bit, but you could use it next to your greenhouse to create some kind of nice sitting area. There are also some nice arches here you can use and different types of potted plants, which you could use to build a sunroom, for example, because it's very similar to a greenhouse. There are not too many wall plants in base game, only three different types of ivy here. And they're also quite big, so you might want to size them down before using them. So two important debug objects, I almost forgot, are these piles of dirt here, uh, which you can use to give your greenhouse a more natural, more realistic, more detailed look. For example, if you add them around your plant up pots like this, but you can also use the number keys to elevate the dirt so you can place it on top of the planter like this. And this way you can also put different plants in the plant up pot. You can of course also do this without the dirt, but I think it looks nicer this way. However, the planter is not functional this way, of course. 
uh, just in case you're wondering. So these are my objects for uh, greenhouses here. Of course, you can also use different types of plants, whatever you want to. This is not a definitive list. This is just to give you guys an idea what you potentially could use. If you guys need this lot and want me to upload it to the gallery, let me know in the comments below. So before we take a look at the finished greenhouses at the end of the video, I want to give you guys some ideas how you can use the objects that I've shown you. Uh, with this greenhouse here so for the flooring you can use whatever you want i like using the wood for like a path in the middle but since we have a double door this is not really possible and for this greenhouse i decided to go with a simple gray stone as you can see here which i also wanted to use inside and here you have different options what you can do you can go all stone or simply have a path in the middle like this one here to create some garden bats these bats will be purely decorational so you can't plant anything here and i'm going to show you how you can do this so first you want to go to your floor patterns go to miscellaneous and pick the bottom of the basement uh, which is this one here and it looks like dirt so that's why i use it here uh, to create the illusion of having dirt inside which you can't really do when you build on a platform so if you're not building on a platform this is not really necessary because you can just use terrain paint or whatever you want, but also uh, this floor pattern, of course. So next you want to go to the miscellaneous section of your decorations and there you find different types of planks you can use to uh, frame your garden beds here. But please be aware that your sims won't be able to walk past them if you place them on the ground like this. So this is purely decorational. So now it's time to pick some plants to put in our garden beds here. Some of the potted plants look very nice. For example, this one here. You can, of course, also use outdoor plants for this step. Uh, but I like the look of these potted plants here. The only downside is that you need a mod called Tool. I'm going to link it in the description below if you want to check it out. I'm also going to show you in a second how to do this without Tool. But if you use Tool, go to Elevate and type in how much you want to lower your plant. This will be different for every plant that you might have to adjust it just like I did here. So the whole point here is to lower the plant into the ground so it looks like it's growing here. Now I'm going to do the same with the second plant. And this way we can also lower it into the ground. If you're not sure how to use tool, there are some tutorials out there, I think also from the creator, but it's also pretty easy to use once you get used to it. So once your plant is in the right spot, simply deselect it and you're done. You can add as many plants this way as you want, because this is, as I said before, purely decorational. So you can really get creative here. I also like using these small garden signs here, which I sized down. There's always a tomato on it, but I think it's still a nice little detail you can add here. So as I said before, I'm also going to show you how you can uh, add plants without tool. And to do so, you will have to go to your outdoor plants and pick uh, plants there because they don't have a pot. And this way, you don't have to lower them down into the ground to hide the pots. So you could, for example, add this plant here. Uh, which is still very big you can't make it any smaller so i also use tool to size it down so if you don't have tool you might want to use smaller plants it's possible but i would really recommend getting the mod because it's really useful for all kinds of builds and this way you can also use all the plants you have in base game for your garden beds here and as i said before if you want to add some additional details there are also some nice dirt piles in base game you can use to do so i usually place them underneath the plants or simply next to them like this and there are different types of dirt piles as I said before uh, which vary in size and color as you can see so depending on where you want to place them you might want to use different ones here so now I would like to talk about plant up pots and uh, the, these plant up boxes here because we didn't get any of these uh, in the new greenhouse haven kit which was very disappointing so i don't really recommend using the large planter boxes in a greenhouse this small because it takes up so much space they also won't be fully functional because in the back uh, your sims can't access the planter because of the wall and this way you can also have only two of them inside unless you build a bigger greenhouse of course there is a way to get four planter boxes inside but it's a bit more difficult and you'd need tool to make this look good I'm going to show it to you anyway in case you want to try this yourself. So first you want to shove the planter boxes halfway into the wall just like this. And now we have to cover uh, the rest of the planter outside. A good option to do this are hedges but we're also going to need some additional objects to cover the whole planter. So as you can see I sized the hedges down and placed them 
on top of the planter make sure they are not clipping through the windows so as you can see this doesn't look very clean so we're gonna need this stone fence here which we're gonna lower into the ground using tool same as we did with the plants before so we're also gonna need the second stone fence here uh, because as you can see this one here is not long enough and once both of them are in position we're gonna uh, use tool and lower them down as much as we need to and as you can see this looks much better here but it's also a lot more work so i wouldn't really recommend it unless you really want this so with small greenhouses like this i think it looks better if you use the smaller round plant up pots here which are also much easier to use because because you can place them on either side and they will be functional they also have a lot of very nice swatches so i really recommend using these but you can of course use the plant up pots from different expansion packs as well because there are some very nice plant up boxes but since this is a base game tutorial i didn't use them so as i said before you can also add some dirt piles around the plant up pots here uh, which also gives some additional detail i think this looks very nice so now i want to show you guys how to add lights inside which is not that easy because we don't have any wall space here as you can see because it's all windows and we can't really use a ceiling light as well because we have a gabled glass roof here and the light would just float midair so therefore i'm going to show you guys a way to apply ceiling lights that are not floating so what you want to do first is grab one of the wooden planks here you can find them in your decorations in the miscellaneous section so if your greenhouse is the same size as mine so four by three you need three wooden planks to create a wooden beam all across your greenhouse simply use the number keys to elevate your wooden planks here so once your planks are in place you can add whatever ceiling light you want i like using these lanterns here so as you can see this looks also very nice from the outside as your lights are not hanging midair so next i'm going to show you guys how you can add a skylight window here this doesn't really work very well with like all glass roofs but i thought i'd show you guys anyway so what you want to do first is place a second gabled roof like this so this time you have to delete the ceiling if you want to have a skylight because otherwise the ceiling will be in the way next you want to grab a half gabled roof and place it on one side of the build modify your roof until it's a two by one roof and after you're done it should look something like this so you guys might have noticed that there's some gaps between the roof and the walls after deleting the ceiling so before we continue working on the skylight itself i'm quickly going to show you how to fix this you can use a half wall but i prefer using this fence here and i'm going to pick the white one because it matches the rest of the build simply drag it all around your roof and as you can see the gaps are gone so in closing the roof like this will cause another ceiling to appear which we're simply going to delete so as you can see this looks much better now and it also allows you to use wall trims here for some additional detail so now let's continue working on the skylight first of all you want to turn it to glass and add a trim just like i did here so this works better if your roof isn't too steep which is the reason why i'm going to make this one a bit flatter and it actually works best with almost completely flat roofs so once you're satisfied with how your roof looks click on it press and hold shift and drag this arrow here to extend only one of the eaves try to make it approximately the same size as the gap below so it looks like an open window so now you can keep it like this but what i like to do is add one of these beams here on each side to make it look a bit more realistic the beams are objects from debug and i used them in white here because it fits the general color scheme of this build here to place them you simply use the number keys on your keyboard to elevate them so if you want to you can keep your roof like this but what bothers me is that there are no hinges here so this is really only an issue with glass roofs like this one here and what i like to do here is to copy the half gabled roof and apply the solid sheet glass roof here next i'm gonna get rid of all the eaves because we don't need them for now now i'm gonna place the roof right here and by pressing and holding shift i'm gonna extend one of the eaves until it lines up with the rest of the roof before making everything a bit steeper except for the skylight so this way we created a very nice border here and the whole roof looks a bit more realistic but again this is not really necessary it's just what i prefer to do and therefore i wanted to include it in this guide here just to give you the option if you want to 
So I did this in detail because unfortunately I'm not able to upload roofs to the gallery and I assume you want to add these greenhouses to your pre-existing builds and therefore I tried to upload the greenhouses as rooms which didn't work with the roofs. So unfortunately you guys have to recreate the roof yourself if you want this greenhouse. So the last thing I'm going to show you in this tutorial is how to build open sliding doors. So this is only for looks and might impair uh, the usability of the greenhouse because it's open now. So I play tested this and my plants were growing just as they would indoors But let me know if you encountered any issues with this But now back to the tutorial as you can see I removed two of the windows here and deleted the whole wall This is necessary because otherwise your window would snap to the wall and this way I can move it fairly freely So you don't have to do this with two window panels You can use only one if you're ambitious You could also use three or more if you want to the technique should always be the same so you can really get creative here so once you're done you only have to place some walls behind your windows on the sides and you're done so that's it for today if you watched the video until this point i want to say thank you the rest of the video is going to be a showcase of all the greenhouses that i've built for this video to inspire you guys and give you some ideas for your own build i'm also going to add a bonus tip at the very end of the video which you can use for all of your builds not only greenhouses and with that thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful please leave a like and consider subscribing for more content see you guys next time So last but not least, I'm going to show you guys how to build an open door. So what you want to do first is grab a frame that's about the same size as the door you want to use. Next, you want to place your door and this way you can check if you're actually the same size. Now you want to go to the wall section and select the wall tool. Build a diagonal wall on one side of the door, just like this. Select the door and use the Alt key to slide it into the frame. Now you can delete the wall and you're done. This also works with double doors if you use a larger frame. So that's it for today. See you guys next time. Peace out.